about the Braves Toy Review. What's popular? All right, so this is the culmination of a good day of uh, scoring, hunting, and reviewing. Today, we are taking a look at the uh, SH Figgy Warts. That is a Bandai Japan Avengers Age of Ultron. Black Widow. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. She's her Black Widow. Who is Scarlett Johansson? And so, of course, we got to put her in this pose because this is the pose from the box. Yeah, right there. That's the pose from the box. And if she can't make that pose, then straight up, she's bullshit. All right, so um, let's talk about a few things. I'm going to be straight up with you. This may upset you. This may make you happy. I'm half and half on her. I was really excited about getting this figure. Really, really, really excited. And, um... After actually opening her up and messing around with her, um, there are some missteps here that really just really freaking bother me. But then there are other things that really, really inspire me. So we're going to have to figure it out, right? Okay, so uh, first things first. When it comes to the paint, oh, she's all, she's all on fire. You can take a look at the hair. Look at that. Look at that hair. Like under this lighting... It, it kind of captures it, um, like especially in the hair. But at the same time, I, I think that in hand, when you get it in hand, it does it so much more justice. justice. This is a pretty good camera. And you can see the um, you can see the air, the, the undertones here, the darker tones here in the airbrush. And the paint has a really nice shine to it, man. So it, it really looks good. Now, here's the problem with the figure. As far as the sculpt goes, they capture her. They capture that face, I think, rather well. Um, probably one of the better sculpts as far as faces go. Um, you can see it in that little nose that Scarlett Joe has, the eyes, the the um, eyebrow line there, the even the, the way her little chin and her lips are. Oh, so cute. Here's the problem. Okay, Scarlett Johansson has, like, freckles. And I think they were trying to capture that there um, with paint. Uh, I, I'm going to give them credit and say they were, or the benefit of the doubt, and say they're trying to capture that with paint. But it comes off more as just, like, dirty. <laughs> Which, from time to time, freckles can come off like that. But in the case of this figure, it just it doesn't come off as clean. You dig what I'm saying? Um, the head is is removable. I'm pretty sure you can pop off the uh, you can pop off the joint there, but it's not. It doesn't have any replaceable faces. She does not come with replaceable faces. All right, get into the costume. The costume pound for pound is dead on set with the um, the Age of Ultron movie with the neon blues line bl lining going through the suit. Even here, close circle on the chest area here, the center area here, you got like a little more texture, so it looks like a kind of like a um, uh, texture or something like that. With a leather look, with a leather look to the side, more of that blue trim there. Um, even coming around the back there, more of that texture there. Now, um, at first glance, it looks like she ain't got that Scarlet Joe butt, but actually, she kind of does. It kind of toots a little bit there. I think it would have been better if it had been um, sculpted to be just a little bit more rounded for the Scarlet Joe look. You know what I'm saying? But it's not terrible. Uh, we'll touch on that in a minute. All right. Um, the belt here has these little gadgets on it. And this is the part, okay, this is like a, a thumb in the face, all right? And I'll tell you why. All right, the belt here has these little gadgets on it, and all these gadgets are on these little pegs. See that peg there? All right, and there's a little peg hole there. So they all fit, and everything has a place, right? She comes with weapons, but no weapon storage. More on that later. Um, the belt has a little bit of silver in there, black with the red, with the um, black widow symbol there, which is really cool. You got some red up here. I mean, the paintwork is on point. The craftsmanship of the figure is good. Like the texture there is great. Look at that. I mean, all the way down it looks really good. More of that blue there. All the line work. I mean, SH Figure Arts kills this. They kill it. You see the little heel bit there. They kill it all the way through. Look at the little buckles there. Take a look. Take a look. Let it process all kinds of sculpt work all around this deal. I don't know what the hell this is supposed to be. I can only imagine it's supposed to be a gun holster, which is like, you know, a Hasbro movie. Some bullshit because it's not really a gun holster, right? This joint they're going with here, this, um, this is kind of weird. This piece is fixed here. And then this one is fixed into the bottom one and the swivel is there. And that's just kind of weird. And it's so big and... I don't know what the purpose of that is. I don't know why they went with that. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me take a look at uh, Captain America and see. Captain America has a different type of joint. 
and you can see that like more like um hinges there when you look at like say um fujiko mini mini mine whatever you can see she has a smaller joints and i'm wondering why they didn't go with that for um for the black widow another thing um you you may have seen if you are in some of the import groups um you may have seen that some people have taken the um the midsection here the hip section with the butt right and use that on her um looking at it i don't know that that will work because of the shape is so different but and i'm not really going to try it right now i'm not really fucking with that but a lot of people have done that so that, that is that option is out there if you have both figures or you have a spare uh fujiko that's all good these hand bits here because they have these little small pegs they pop off rather easily they go on rather troublesomely like uh can you say troublesomely look at that silver right there I like that silver Okay, for hand accessories, she comes with um, a total of five sets. The uh, open palm set, which are the landing hands, as they are now known as. And, of course, you can see there on the back, there is blue on the knuckles and there is um, uh, sculpt work on the, uh, on the hand. So that's pretty cool. She comes with the uh, judo chop hands, which are like the kind of uh, open straight hands, the taekwondo hands, as I want to call them. And again, they have the uh, they have the uh, blue paint on the knuckles there and um, defining sculpts there in the gloves. She comes packaged with the uh, closed fist hand or the watch me whip, whip, watch me nay nay hands, as I like to call them. And then these last two sets are going to take us into our weapon accessories. So she comes with these uh, slightly closed um, fist hands that allow her to hold her uh, batons here. As you can see, the, the batons are heavily detailed in texture. For them to be so small and so slim, they do um, have a great amount of detail in them. Uh, you have a simple um, that neon blue color uh, with the black palette. It continues, but it's just the line work on it that really makes it stand out. Stand out. So they're pretty good, man. Um, and then the hands themselves. Again, you see the uh, blue on the knuckles. And while I'm at it, let me take a, a moment to point out how much detail you get here in this little wrist piece that shoots her little... Uh, black widow stinger things right you get that red right there you get the blue tips right there the the sculpt is really good on this figure i mean that you have to give it you really got to give it credit for that um and finally here you go with the uh pistol holding hands um and, and they hold the, the they hold the pistol um uh, fairly decent the, the pistol fairly, fairly decently um so here, here's where the issue comes in for me with this figure i truly don't understand why they wouldn't have um weapon storage for her i mean with all this detail in the figure and with so much um effort put into the figure i just cannot begin to grasp why they wouldn't have given her weapon storage at least for the pistols at least at minimum i mean it it, it was it wouldn't have been a hard thing to do i don't get why they didn't do it um again if you haven't just to give you another look at the little side bits that are on pegs that that are all storable here like she has a little knife there but it's not really a knife it's just like the little the the appearance of her little throwing knife there or whatever it, it really um that's really the letdown for me i mean i would have liked to have seen her with extra uh extra faces or whatever the case is that would have been really cool um but i'm not dying without it even though all of the other figures came with extra faces so i'm not sure why they kind of cut cut it out that portion especially when this figure is one of the more expensive ones um in the uh in the series and here we go with a nice final um team shot of everyone together of course we're still missing hawkeye um uh black panther and of course uh giant man ant-man but but to be honest um i would say all i really need left is hawkeye to really make this team look full right let's get some um ideas out as we get out of here right so the figure itself, the Black Widow figure itself, is it's a it's a good figure. SH Figure Arts gives some great offerings um, when it comes to their figures, and and this, but but at the same time, we have to be honest and say that this Avengers line has not been without its flaws. I think honestly, the strongest figure um, from this line has had to have been the um, Iron Man and the uh, Hulk back there. Um, so far, we've seen a second. 
uh, Captain America come from this uh, line. Um, and from what I saw there, it wasn't too um, impressive. Or it wasn't anything that I wanted to get. She's a she's a good figure. I mean, SH figure arts wise, she's a she's a good figure. She's a decent figure. It's just that they've had other offerings that have been better. And I wonder how much of that has to do with um, the fact that it's a, a movie licensed figure and having to capture the um, the real the realist the realistic look of the figure. Because when you look at like a figure like um, you know uh, Fujiko or some of the Dragon Ball Z stuff, it, it just it, and, and especially that fucking Bruce Lee. It just comes across as so much better. The Star Wars stuff comes across as so much better. And it seems to be so much more thought put into it as far as the weapon storage. For me, weapon storage is a big deal. Might not be for you. Um, again, as far as articulation goes, I mean, she's heavily articulated. But there are some weird choices with the articulation. Like this knee joint uh, that they use that gives you a good bit of motion back. Um, but... You don't, you get very little on a hyper extend and definitely no swivel. And this is one of the big, big problems here. There's no upper thigh swivel, right? It's very little there. And then, of course, there is no swivel here in the knee area for the lower thigh. So it makes it more, diff it makes it far more difficult to get a lot of your uh, favorite poses in. You have it there at the ankle, but that's not really helping. And then you have here at the elbow. Um, a lot of a lot of hindrance um, just because of how it was done. It doesn't have that double articulation piece that a lot of the other ones have as far as the hinges go. And then, of course, the neck, there's not there's not a great range of motion in the lower neck. And maybe mine is just tight, but uh, it, it just doesn't seem there's very much motion there. So it's all uh, dependent on the uh, head sculpt there. So, you know, you put those things together and it makes you wonder what happened with this figure, to be honest with you. Um uh, they 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 have shown that they will do multiple releases of certain figures. Um, I don't think we've seen a second release of their Hulk yet, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Iron Man, of course, has gotten multiple releases. Captain America got two. Uh, I think Thor only got the one, but with Thor having his own movie coming out, it's quite possible that we could see another one from him. I hope that there will be a second one for... Um, for old Scarlet Joe there. It's possible that they're giving this a run and see how the sales go since it's a female figure. But with the fact considering when you give consideration that they make so many different female figures and they do well, I don't see why they would be hesitant in doing a figure, um, a second figure for um something with such a uh marketing um vehicle such as the Avengers movies. I don't see why they wouldn't do a second one for this. And if they do do another one for this, I think that's the one you really want to get, especially for the price because um the import price with this one, I think you end up spending uh in the high 60s and if you're getting it from like say one of the state side sites if it's even possible you're definitely going to be in the 70s and i think i'm pretty sure aftermarket is going to probably see her at around 100 if not a little bit less than 100 and when you factor in all of those things unless you're just a really hard core sh figure arts collector man i don't know if um she holds up to that when you put her on the scale with the rest of or other figure arts releases. I, I just, I can't honestly tell you that. So I'm not saying it's a bad figure. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that I expect it more and um, I want it more. And it's just a few small things they could have done to give us more on that. All right. So um, one thing I'll show you right quick before we get out of here. If you are um, a big imports collector, then you're probably into like, these little armory weapons that, uh, kits that you can get um, for your Figma and your SH Figure Arts. I just want to show you guys those who um, do have those or who have thought about doing those. Now, the, S the uh, little armory weapons are about, the their pistols are about that size too, right? This is her holding uh, one of the little armory um, sniper rifles. Actually, I think this is a Figma uh, rifle, but Little Armory made one um, to that kit that I just showed you was actually the Little Armory one. So that's her holding the sniper rifle from Little Armory. And as you can tell, it, it will work with her. So you can't arm her up. And having said that, let me throw this out there to anyone that would be interested. Little Armory makes a series of... Um, of pistols right of like berettas and glock pistols and stuff like that and they also uh have a set i haven't been able to find them yet but they also have a set that has like the leg holsters on it um it's definitely coming out with their upcoming little armory figure um so maybe you could get that and 
fix this whole deal with her not having weapon storage, uh, or at least for her pistols, her sidearms. Hey, I've talked enough, man. Let's get the hell up out of here. I'm tired. It's been a long day. Thank you guys for watching. I came back around. I gave you some toy reviews. Now it's back to vlogs. Till next time. Out of here.